Is it on? Yeah. Greetings, fellow members of the scientific community. My name is Dr. Greenleaf, and today, I'd like to bring to your attention a new threat facing humanity. Global warming. <clears throat> what? Um, didn't Al Gore already bring this to everyone's attention? Al who? I found this on Wikipedia. It's cutting edge. <clears throat> from my scholarly research, I've determined the leading cause of global warming doesn't come from the tailpipes of cars, it comes from the tailpipes of cows. On an average day, a cow will produce roughly a thousand liters of methane gas. And this gas is 20 times more harmful to the atmosphere than carbon monoxide. This problem isn't dealt with. These cow farts are gonna blow a hole through the ozone like it's an old pair of jeans. <sighs> That's why. Sheldon! Oh God. Yes, Mom? You let the toilet seat up again! I sit down to do my business and I fall right in! I could have broken my neck! Okay, Mom, can we talk about this later? I'm trying to save the world down here. Oh God! The boy takes one biology class and he thinks he's Dr. Phil! That's why I, Dr. Greenleaf, have decided to find a solution to this stinky situation. Tomorrow, I'm gonna venture out into the pastures, armed and ready to collect these questionable emissions. Hola, que pasa? Now, in order for cows to emit the emissions, certain stimulants have to be introduced. And I can't think of a better way to provoke these specimens than with some good old fashioned chili con carne. Vamonos! Hello, sir. I'm Dr. Greenleaf, and this is my assistant. What can I do for you, boys? Well, we have reason to believe that the gases from your cows are contributing to the global warming epidemic, and we'd like to take some samples. Well, how y'all gonna do that? <clears throat> well, um, we're gonna feed him this burrito and wait for him to flatulate, and then we're gonna extract said flatulence using this patented fletch catcher. You're gonna do what? God, it smells. Dude, I'm wrong. Oh, <clears throat> I'm out in the field right now looking for an adequate specimen to collect a sample from. There! Got it! Wow, she's a beauty. Yep, she's got all her udders and everything. So, uh, how are you gonna get her to eat that? That's not a problem. I've <clears throat> done this hundreds of times. They love this stuff. Whew! She is scarfing that down. This won't take long. Oh, come on, it's been an hour already. What is taking so long? Well, cow's stomach's got four chambers, so it could be a while before anything passes through. Four chambers? This is gonna take forever! No. That's it! Hand me the flash catcher! Uh, not so fast there, boys. Uh, that, that was me. What was that? Well, there's your sample right there. Quick, we gotta sign up for a boss away! Uh, it's hot, it's rising fast! Are you sure this is safe? Oh yeah, it's gonna be fine. <clears throat> I filled these balloons with methane gas extracted from the cow, and I'm now going to test how they react to heat. I'm just gonna stick this lighter under there. <laughs> oh man, are you okay? What? What happened? Come on, let's get you up. Okay. Oh man, I think you lost an eyebrow. What? Really? Don't worry, it's, it's gonna grow back. Is there an earthquake? What is going on? Uh, don't worry, Mom. I'm just, uh, lighting farts down here. Oh no, just like his brother. God rest his soul. This gas has so much potential. But what could it be used for? Well, after some alterations to the engine, I've converted this car to be able to run on cow emissions. If this works, it can reduce our reliance on foreign oil and usher in a new era of energy independence. Now, hopefully this thing will actually work. It works. It works! Nobel Prize, here I come. 